What's up? This is Squad2448, where the following slang to sound team on review. Today, we'll be taking a look at a hook truck, dump truck, cab over semi, a excavator pack, a grader, three point plow, and a few trailers. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a very nice hook truck. It does have a three point attachment up front, color changeable, along with color changeable wheels. It has two beacon lights up top, and as you come around to the side, you guys can see it's a very long hook truck, which works with the IT runner pack, which is pretty nice. And then, as you come around to the back, it does have a PTO and a few different hitches which is perfect for all of the different trailers once we hop on the inside this goes 51 miles per hour all of the lights do work on it two beacon lights up top which work and you guys can see when you do press x it will extend out and work just like a hook truck which is pretty cool and it does have a top speed of 51 miles per hour a lot of different lights on this which is nice a few extra spotlights in the back and in the front for working which is pretty cool on the inside view it does have a very similar one to the in-game one working mirrors working stereo and working gauges and I'm very excited to be back here doing a mod review and it's pretty cool that we do have some epic mods that I am featuring in today's video and credits go out to all the creators for making these epic mods and I do appreciate them for releasing all of these but as you guys can see one very nice hook truck and overall awesome job on it up next we'll be taking a look at a man cab over dump truck I really do like the color scheme looks pretty cool you guys can see I do have them in black wheels which is pretty cool protection over the headlights and it does have extra lights and a few beacon lights up top now you guys can see it does have a lot of axles and no hitch in the back once we hop on the inside view this goes 51 miles per hour all of the lights do work on this and we'll kind of lift up the cover which is pretty cool you guys can see it will lift up come right down and we'll kind of go like that that looks actually pretty cool when you do press control i it does lift up you guys can see one hydraulic kind of in the center and three axles turn take a look at that i mean this truck is meant to haul some very heavy loads and i mean the underbody of this a lot of detail was put into it those drive shafts and then on the inside you guys can see working gauges, working stereo, and working mirrors. Very nicely done, almost like the in-game man truck, but I mean, this thing looks pretty cool, and I do like the color scheme on it. And you guys can see handling wise, I mean this thing turns really, really well, take a look at that, does not have the best turning radius, but I think it does overall help out, and I mean that thing looks pretty cool having three axles that do turn, that is a very cool feature, and overall I just like the looks of the truck. We'll be parking this up, and up next, we'll be taking a look at a cab over semi. Now, this is one pretty small semi, which is pretty cool. It is a Scanny. It's a, the R560, which is pretty cool. I really do like this color also. Blacked out wheels, and as we come around to the back, no hitch, but you guys can see awesome job on the textures. Once we hop on the inside, you will activate those two beacon lights. You guys can see all of the lights do work. I really do like these lights. Very realistic LED reverse lights, which is pretty cool. Up front, you guys can see it does have all LED lights. It's a very cool feature that means that this is upgraded on the inside view working steering wheel working gauges and working mirrors I mean this thing looks very cool take this for a spin it does have a little bit of body roll but I really do like the compact size of this I mean this thing looks pretty cool and you guys can see it does have the exhaust right out of the side and it's on both sides it looks like and this does have some very nice engine sounds Up next, we'll be taking a look at an excavator pack, which includes a variety of attachments, and it also does have the forestry option for both of these. You guys can see we have one tract and one wheel. So first, we'll be taking a look at the tract, and one of the options that you could buy is this blade to put on the front, which is pretty cool. I mean, very high quality, one of the best excavators I've ever seen here in Farm Sim. I mean, the quality, the textures, everything about this looks awesome. Once we hop on the inside view, we, you guys can see it has a top speed of 5 miles per hour now. It does have some lights, which is pretty cool, and one beacon light. I really do like that one a lot. And then as you do just kind of drive up here, you will get one to attach it. When you do press it, it will kind of spawn in that last piece, and then this can go up and down with mouse control. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. You can lift it, and it does lift it up just a little, which is pretty cool. You could push it and you guys can see the handling of this is amazing I mean turns perfectly and then as you guys can see you could kind of change through so as you guys can see when you do press G I mean all of these controls work very
very fluently. I am using the mouse switching from the controller, but you guys can see awesome job. And I mean, this thing reaches up pretty high for loading into some, but wow, this thing looks pretty cool. Now, I do actually have one attachment with me, but there's plenty different types. They have ones for grain, uh, logging. This one is actually for logging. So as you guys can see, this is perfect. I mean, you could rotate this. You could bring this all the way down. I mean, this thing is perfect i really do like this one a lot i mean take a look at that you could rotate it that is one awesome attachment i really do like it a lot and i mean overall one very nice excavator up next we'll be taking a look at the wheeled version and on this you do have the option for extra stabilizers here in the front but i mean i really do like this one a lot especially the wheels it does kind of change it up so once you do hop on the inside view you guys can see it does have all the same controls and i actually did not show you the interior of the other one but it has a very similar one which i will be going back to but take a look at this guys I mean this looks pretty cool it does have a camera view here and let's kind of take a look at this so you could actually press control Z to kind of change through them so let's kind of see which one this is on right now so as you guys since it's on the boom then when you do press control Z it will activate the stabilizer so take a look at that guys we are now putting this down and I mean take a look at that you could actually control this with a mouse which means that you could adjust the height but that looks pretty cool and I mean overall one very nicely done excavator pack we'll kind of come back here though to take a look at the uh, first person view you guys can see very nicely done it and they do work as you guys can see which is also pretty cool it shows that the hazard lights are on and overall very nicely done a lot of detail on the inside and it does actually have an arm view which I really do like a lot you guys can see it does move with it which is pretty cool up next, we'll be taking a look at a BBM Road Grader for the Skid Sears. This is pretty cool. You guys can see it does have a blade, does have height, and angle adjustment along with two wheels in the front. So we will be hopping in this JCV Skid Steer and we'll be testing it out. I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. I actually did feature it in a video yesterday, so stay tuned for that. But you guys can see, I mean, this thing looks awesome. Take a look at that. You could adjust the height and uh, you could adjust the angle. Uh, where you want the gravel and overall one very nice attachment which I really do like and then you could adjust the skid steer to have it on the wheels and like we're saying guys I mean this also does have the option for uh, different train wheels which is pretty cool but overall one very nice attachment and I mean that thing looks pretty cool very high quality model and it does work in up next in the final attachment we'll be taking a look at today is a three point plow. I really do like this one a lot. We'll be using this very very soon so stay tuned for a video with it. We'll be hopping in one of the in game tractors and we'll take a look. Once you guys attach, you can use the mouse controls, it lifts up, lowers, and then uh, when you do press the opposite one, it does angle. So, I mean, that is pretty cool. I really do like this one a lot, and I mean, this thing looks awesome. You could raise it up, and on the first person, you do have two markers, not the biggest markers, but I mean, they still do help out, and you could also kind of tilt the plow, it looks like. You could tilt it this way if you would like, which is also a pretty cool upgrade. So, if you want to tilt it, you guys can see, wow, that is a very cool, possibly for back dragging that uh, work pretty well for and the final two mods we'll be taking a look at today are a few trailers. Up first, we'll be taking a look at this gooseneck trailer. It does have a few beacon lights up front and in the back, and it does have and have much reverse lights but I mean you guys can see very nice job on the suspension and the wheels look pretty cool and it does have two jacks so I think for this one we'll be hopping into the skinny semi truck just because we get attached to the goosenecks with this but overall I really do like the trailer and it does have quite a bit of beacon lights that's a cool feature along with it does have working straps so you guys can see you just want to back up to it and attach and you guys can see the two uh, beacon lights here in the front and in the back they do flicker pretty fast and then you guys can see all of the different straps on it which is pretty cool and let's take a look looks like there is some lights in the back but not much and that is okay so I mean that looks pretty cool I really do like this one a lot probably perfect for moving pallets around which is pretty nice we'll be turning this off in the final uh, trailer we'll be taking a look at today is a BBM trailer DO24 I mean this is one very cool trailer one of my new favorite trailers this thing looks awesome the rooms are color changeable take a look at the detail of this you guys can see awesome wood does have straps as you guys can see and I really do like this design not too many of these here in the game with the wheels underneath the bed which means that it's a much wider uh, area which is nice one jack in the front then you guys can see awesome job on the bolts and for this one I think we'll just kind of uh hop in this tractor and attach since you could attach it to many different ones but I mean today was a pretty big mod review some epic mods and I'm very excited for using all these in some upcoming videos we'll back up and we'll attach you guys can see once you do attach 
patch, you can press X and it will lower the rams very fast going down, which is pretty nice. And uh, you guys can see overall that looks pretty cool. And the final thing we'll take a look at today, which I really want to kind of take a look at, we'll kind of fold that up, is all of these lights. So you guys can see it does have fully functioning lights all the way around it. And overall today was one epic review. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.